Yeah, hello and welcome everybody to our second webinar within this uh, series of webinars for this uh, small set event this year. Um, yeah, glad to see that a lot of people uh, are joining us and want to see what we do. Uh, we can wait a little bit, but no, no, it's okay, we will start. Um, my name is Andreas. I'm a system engineer and product engineer here at uh, IQ Wireless and for the IQ Spacecom products uh, for the uh, radio communication um, uh, space communication development. And yeah, next to me is Lukas. Yeah, I'm Lukas. I'm a sales engineer here at IQ Wireless and I'm yeah responsible for the Spacecom product line and uh, yeah, I think many of you has uh, watched the webinar yesterday where uh, Lucas and Matthias has uh, already introduced um, the uh, IQ Spacecom brand and the, the different products and a lot of missions and uh, examples uh, what we what we are doing, what we have done with uh, with very success and yeah, so. Um, for today, we plan to um, talk about more the new um, development and the new uh, trends uh, for the IQ Spacecom uh, products, especially the X-Link platform. Um, you can download documents uh, from the uh, from the download uh, section of this um, uh, tool um, uh, webinar tool. Uh, the webinar will be recorded. Uh, you can download it afterwards, or we we will. We will. Or there, there there is a link available uh, for for on demand uh, replace of it. And if you have uh, questions, remarks, comments, uh, feel free to use the uh, chat or question window of this tool, and uh, we will read it while the presentation, and uh, we will. Uh, give answers after uh, the presentation. So, um, and you also have a possibility to uh, make private um, meetings uh, with us um, on tomorrow. We have, uh, yeah, some time slots are still available uh, where you can meet us, uh, yeah, in uh, single meetings. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's start. Um, on, only again a short introduction of of the uh, um, of our products. So we have, um, you know, this IQ Spacecom. That's that's why we are here. Where we are from from the uh, radio communication from satellite to ground and ground to satellite and satellite to satellite and so on. Um, another different product uh, uh, portfolio or product business is the IQ Firewood for an early fire detection, wildfire detection system. Um, yeah, that's are the two, two business we, we made here in this, in this company. And yeah, but uh, we are now focused only on the, on the IQ Spacecom. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what, what, what we both, we did and where our experience is, we have uh, more than 10 years experience with, with satellite radio communication, there are much more years experience with general radio communication system. Um, we are offering broadband data communication systems and uh, we are specialized as a development company to yeah, specific developments for customized and uh, customer specific uh, solutions. And yeah, that's what we want to introduce to you now, what we what we want to do for you. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, if, um, yeah, so the, uh, that's the title of the, of this webinar are these, yeah, these key words, which are buzzwords in this business. But uh, here I want to explain to you shortly what we are understanding uh, from this, yeah, word. So, um, because we are talking especially about our X-Link product or X-Link platform, which is an SDR radio, software defined radio. Uh, we will talk about uh, uh, it and that's how it's flexible and uh, usable for various applications. 
uh, special of, of, um, of interest are the inter-satellite links. Uh, we are also familiar with it, have experience with it. We are built uh, with the Technical University of Berlin uh, system of uh, four satellites, this SNET mission, uh, which was already working in orbit and has implemented an inter-satellite link communication. We are know that there are many protocols uh, in, in use or plan to use for this Internet of Things. Uh, um, yeah, use it, and uh, also there, this X-Link platform is, as you will see, very flexible and usable for it. And also, so the 5G is is also uh, very common. And um, yeah, there you can use this this X-Link or the IQ Spacecom product also as part of 5G systems. Especially, uh, we are designing uh, antennas, and we know that also this antennas are uh, part of 5G uh, satellite systems and um, you can give you a, a short um, pictures of this um, uh, antenna system. So here you can see this various antennas, so S-band antennas, X-band antennas with multiple uh, uh, antenna system for high gain, low gain um, applications. And uh, you can see this 1U CubeSat structure where an X-Link is fitted in. So you can yeah, also uh, see the dimensions. And uh, yes, that's uh, what we want to show you. Maybe we have to continue. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> also, for example, this, uh, yeah, this structure. So uh, and here you can see our X-Link mounted inside and also s bumped and a single patch X band antenna mounted on a 3U CubeSat structure here. Yeah, typically we have these models in uh, exhibition booths and uh, where <laughs> everybody can can uh, can take it to its hand and see how the dimensions and how the uh, yeah and uh, how it looks like. So yeah, and but today uh, we work specially about this X-Link platform. Yeah, um, uh, some key facts about our Xing platform, um, as Andreas, or as you could already read on a few slides ago, the Xing um, consists of uh, two uh, boards, one uh, software-defined radio board and one radio front-end board, and therefore it's uh, very flexible and has a standardized um, yeah, build-up uh, scheme. Um, you can see here on the front, um, the blocks are our basic uh, blocks uh, for the X-Link, um, like it always has an Ethernet interface, it's uh, CCSDS conform, and it um, could uh, yeah, receive uh, data in S-Band and transmit data in X-Band. That's the basic configuration, but uh, you can exchange all those blocks um, because it's a software-defined radio, and an extra radio front end um, where uh, you can yeah, just easily um, exchange, for example, the X-band uh, transmitter uh, radio front end part with the S-band transmitter radio front end. Therefore, it's possible to easily um, yeah, uh, have a fully S-band uh, transceiver. And um, also you can combine, we have, um, as you can see here, um, the X-Link has uh, two transmit channels and two receive channels. For example, you could use one receive channel in X-Band, one in S-Band, but you can also use uh, both uh, transmit channels and combine them with an additional combiner uh, to gain more um, output power of the X-Link. Um, but if that's, this is, for example, not enough, um, we are also in the development of um, additional power amplifiers for the X-Link to even gain more output power um, out of the X-Link um, and also further developments like um, the uh, frequency band adaptions. Um, as I already told you, the radio front end can be exchanged. Uh, therefore, it can be adapted for L-band or um, for higher frequency bands. Uh, there are additional um, radio front end um, components are needed, but um, therefore this platform is very, very flexible. And also, as you can see here on the right side, um, it's also very flexible in case of a 
data rates um, from down to uh, one megabit per second up to 100 megabit per second. Um, it's all um, included in this uh, single software and um, it doesn't need any uh, hardware adaptions uh, to switch between these data rates, uh, only software adaptions and therefore it's yeah really flexible and uh, by doing so we are also able to implement customers uh, uh, solutions uh, very in a very short time um, also as i already mentioned um, our next uh, development steps or uh, future developments for the x-link um, are uh, frequency band extensions uh, like in higher frequency bands like ka band or even higher um, we are aiming at or um, more standardized uh, frequency bands like um, L-band uh, or UHF-band uh, are uh, possible extensions. Also um, mechanical adaptions like um, we will um, yeah, make the X-Link uh, more radiation hardened um, or uh, develop a power amplifier as the mentioned combiner is already um, available and uh, therefore we will develop the X-Link from very uh, different um, requirements uh, or for very different requirements and therefore we are really flexible and um, also uh, higher data rates and uh, with uh, lower um, uh, bandwidth uh, will be developed. Um, for example, as you can see down here, um, S-band uh, with uh, more than 50 megabit per second. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, because uh, I think, as you as you know, uh, that uh, so typically in in S band there are no 50 megahertz uh, bandwidth uh, available, but with uh, higher modulation schemes and new protocols or or protocols from other standards, for example, DVBS also can can be used here uh, to to make it more bandwidth efficient. So uh, then we can. Yeah, transmit uh, high data rates in lower bandwidth, and yeah, also in you know, as Lucas said, in other frequency bands. I think up up to up to W band, so uh, would be it would be possible. And um, yeah, coming back to um, our main topic, um, we also on, not only provide the X-Link, the SCR transceiver, um, we also provide antennas. And we have a very good cooperation with um, Work Microwave, uh, who provide ground station modems. Um, also, um, this one is uh, also in software-defined radio included. And therefore, it's uh, also, as the X-Link, um, very flexible. And um, the main point is uh, we, tested, test, we are testing it together. And uh, therefore, it's ensured compatibility compatibility between the X-Link and the ground modem. And this uh, really is a very um, yeah, high requirement for many customers. And now we want to introduce our um, guest, uh, Wolfgang Berger from Work Microwave, um, who will um, yeah, shortly introduce himself. Yeah, he's a... Uh... He's a system engineer at uh, at Work Microwave and uh, uh, responsible for this uh, AX16 AX60 uh, modem, and we work close together. Uh, yeah, for the for the development, for the for the product uh, on protocol implementation, and also for the for for the testing. So there are uh, a lot of. Uh, yeah, the tests to do, as you already know, because this is a um, generally in this in this space uh, technology development uh, business testing is is very important. And ah, hello, hello, Wolfgang. Now we have a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, hi, everyone. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. I think I think Wolfgang. Uh, yeah, we are, we are, we already gave a short introduction. Uh, to to you and uh, yeah maybe you can uh, tell us more about uh, your your company and and this nice product. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for filling the gap while my webcam was not working. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome everyone. I'm I'm a system engineer at Work Microwave, responsible for Satcom products, 
Um, Work Microwave is also a company from Germany coming from Bavaria. Maybe someone of you know this from a visit of Oktoberfest. <laughs> um, so we are one of the largest manufacturers of frequency converters, but we are also doing modems, RF modems and optical modems, navigation simulators, sensors, and yeah, even more, I don't know about, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, now all products are made in Germany. Oh, um, that's good. Yeah, that's also also very very good for uh, for us. So the same the same at us. So that's why it's a good collaboration and partnership. Please go that's ahead. That's what I want to mention. Yeah, you have it made in Germany. So uh, our cooperation, you can be sure that this is made in Germany. Okay. Okay, then let's continue to the next. Ah, so this yeah. is already the page. Sorry. Um, okay. okay, this that's enough to work microwave. Um, in our cooperation, we provide the space mission ground modem, okay. um, which is also um, an SDR platform, a, a proven and flexible A series SDR platform, which perfectly fits into the SDR architecture of the X Link of IQ Spacecom. Um, we are also supporting very low and very high symbol rates. We work in a cooperation in developing and evaluating, for instance, very low symbol rates because there are certain applications for that. Um, and we always do this in a cooperation and test and evaluating this together before giving this to the customer. Yeah. Uh, as I said, um, we have a quite, uh, as we have also an SDR platform, which is, um, um, which is, um, which is high CPU and FPGA, or which does high CPU and FPGA based processing, which allows us um, to have a very, uh, you know, to have a very flexible platform, and allow customer defined projects or modifications, mostly upgradable by firmware, also together with IQ Spacecom, um, yeah. which makes it a very flexible platform. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's continue to the next page. Okay, yeah. Here you see uh, some example what what we in the corporation do. We um, we are taking care of signal processing, uh, high performance data processing, forward error correction, and everything which uh, which needs to be implemented. High throughput. Um, um, we are also or, or, or our product also supports some additional waveforms, which is in this case uh, DVBS DVBS 2x. Um, yeah, in the same device, only enabled by licensing. Um, oh, yeah. Here, yeah, again, that, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a, that, that's a very good point. For we so so uh, what 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 we we are also going ahead with the development and and also uh, introducing uh, new protocols and uh, or new. Uh, Maybe higher um, modulation schemes, for example, and so we can we can use uh, in this co collaboration, or we can use this collaboration to provide end-to-end uh, -end solution of uh, of communication systems, which are probably uh, not not the standard, but for this uh, uh, customer for this mission uh, uh, the best solution, and uh, yeah, that's. That, that's very good that uh, this is also this uh, a very good ground modem for that. Yeah, I agree um, that um, in the complexity of all the standards, what you can do, uh, CCDS, CCSDS, or using uh, yeah, CCSDS in combination with dvbx 2 s and so on. Um, yeah, you can always ask us as a corporation, uh, as a corporation, and we are more happy to check this and implement this. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. In this yeah, picture, um, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us more about the picture. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the picture, yeah. This picture should just illustrate. Okay. Uh, uh, we are, um, we are, um, yeah. We are handling the the spectrum. We are handling constellation processing. We data processing. But with the eye diagram, there's something wrong. Maybe someone of you saw this already. <laughs> uh, this is the eye diagram of a 16 QM. Um, yeah. I just wanted to check our our uh, <laughs> our viewers if someone 
I'm, I'm, I'm sure any any expert who's watching has uh, already recognized it. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, I think that's that's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for this intro introduction and. Uh, yeah, I think as, as anyone can see, there is a very close uh, collaboration and um, yeah, we can also uh, offer also here from the, yeah, from this, from the sales side, uh, the, the whole end-to-end -end solution. And so uh, feel free to, if there are questions or if there are product ideas, protocol ideas, uh, whatever mission ideas, contact us, contact with micro, with microwave. Uh, for this end-to-end -end, uh, solution together we will make it possible i'm very sure so uh, thank you wolfgang definitely and, um, <laughs> yeah so um thank you for the for your um, thank you for your invitation now. nice to be here okay so, so and then uh, we will go on with the with the next topic so uh, more general because uh, we want to introduce you that there will be uh, some changes here at, uh, at the IQ Wireless company um, because we are moving. So we are changing some, uh, uh, yeah, um, our, our rooms. We, we have uh, go on, we will, will go wider and we will uh, uh, invest also with uh, this new equipment and uh, yeah, um, this will be result then in a, in a new address. Uh, we will, yeah, um, introduce it to you. Um, of course, if it's uh, if if this is up to date, and um, yeah, I will. But we want to use this chance now to, um, yeah, give this information already to you because this will be also an um, an advance for any customer be, uh, customers because uh, we will go ahead with our high quality system and high quality manufacturing but we will um, uh, uh, we can produce um, more and, and 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 enhance our manufacturing and we you can our test uh, test equipment test site here for this in-house testing so we are capable of of, of produce more products, more satellite products than in the, in the new rooms with this new equipment. For example, we invested in new uh, thermal test equipment, uh, new RF uh, uh, test equipment. And yeah, you will see uh, that there is, um, um, that there will be a change also with the company name, but uh, you can be sure that this product portfolios, business portfolios we have introduced at the beginning. So this uh, IQ Spacecom uh, business will be the same. So uh, IQ Spacecom will be yeah, the same, but uh, the uh, company name will be changed. And maybe you can, yes. yeah, we will uh, stay at the same high quality as before. And we will improve it with our new test equipment. And also here you see first impressions of our new rooms. Um, they are currently in the building, but um, next fall or in a few months, uh, we will change our address and move. And uh, yeah. Also, uh, we want to say um, thank you for your attention. And if you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us directly. Our email addresses are listed here. Um, if you have questions to Andreas, to me, or also our colleague uh, Matthias, who uh, were part of the webinar yesterday, you can also contact him directly, or if you're not sure who you want, who you want to contact, uh, just write an email to info at iq-spacecom.com um, or check our website. And um, also we want to um, yeah, remind you there are private meeting rooms available tomorrow and uh, the day after um, where you can arrange a personal meeting with one of us and uh, just follow the link where you uh, applied for this webinar. You can also find a little bit more down um, the application uh, for uh, such a personal meeting. And also um, here you see uh, where we are present. Um, sadly, it's not the satellite uh, this year because of uh, yeah the restrictions uh, of the US. We are not able to move uh, or to yeah visit it overseas 
um, but we will be present at the IAC, the International Astronautical Congress in Dubai, uh, in end of October. And uh, I hope we will meet everyone there in person again. And also we are part of the Space Ex Expo in November here in Bremen, uh, in Germany, which is not so far away for us, so it's easier to trust. Yeah, and hopefully uh, next year, because this uh, SmallSat uh, exhibition and conference is uh, not only very important for us, but it's it's, it's very good and it's a very uh, good opportunity always to, to see to you. Hopefully next year it will be uh, personally in, in Utah again, and then uh, we will meet there. So yeah, so that's why I, yeah, we will and here so and uh, thank you from my side yeah thank you too. from my side too and now we will answer the questions uh, who arise uh, so do you want to start or yeah right. so there there were some 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 question of the of the uh, or as a question about the delivering time and the impact of the corona uh, of, of the corona virus or pandemic uh, on the supply chain um, yeah, of course, there is an impact of the uh, from the Corona pandemic, uh, but uh, we will uh, or we um, have prepared uh, very early uh, to have a stock of materials, stock of parts. So I think the typical delivery time, uh, which is yeah uh, three to four months for the uh, for the X Link, it uh, depends also on if there are some some customer specific developments. Um, are are already uh, valid so that's that's um that's possible so um yeah another question uh the the intersatellite links the satellite links um uh for the what 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 we have already implemented in the uh, in the snet mission is a uh, is a small data rate uh, um intersatellite link uh, i think it's about a few hundred uh, kilobit per second uh, over 400 uh, kilometers um yeah but as we showed to you we have a very flexible platform to which can provide uh, various protocols and rf interfaces rf front ends so uh i don't matter which intersatellite link via rf we cannot realize yeah we gained a lot of experience uh, within this mission and therefore we are able to yeah, adapt it to the other platforms and also to implement it perhaps for uh, your platform. Yeah, that's, that's also uh, made to the next question. Is the power amplifier included in the X-Link or is an external PA needed? Yeah, okay, it's, it, it depends on the required output power. Yes, there is a PA uh, implemented to the X-Link. So with the X-Link, we can uh, provide an output power of uh, 27 um, dBm on a single TX channel. As you maybe already know, there are two TX channels. We can combine it to, to gain the uh, maximum of 30 dBm uh, output power. Uh, and of course, with additional external PA, we can achieve more and um, uh, yeah, it also depends on the on the uh, on the frequency band. With different frequency bands, we uh, have to use uh, different radio front ends, or maybe we'll use additional radio front ends. That's application or mission specific. We we want to talk about with you uh, about it. So feel free to contact us with ideas or your requirements. We will check. So um, okay. So then. Uh, yeah, the next. Okay, so yeah, that's a very uh, yeah general question. So um, I think we are. Yeah, yeah. So it's about uh, also the firewall system and uh, the general spacecom product. The first question is, uh, what is special about the spacecom products compared to uh, the competition? Yeah. So so we have we we <laughs> yeah okay so. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I think I think I don't I don't know a, a competitor product which is uh, that small with that uh, capabilities, and um, uh, yeah, with it with this full uh, full equipped um, yeah, capabilities. And as we thought to you in collaboration with World Microwave, we can offer you this full end to end end to end solution. I think which is very unique uh, in this in this market or in this in this scene. So, yeah, and also um, 
within the small size we implemented um, yeah, a lot of uh, software components uh, who are uh, choosable uh, individual by every customer and this uh, doesn't need any hardware adaptions it only needs a software adaption and therefore um, within the small size we can provide many many different solutions it's a very flexible platform and yeah okay uh, the second question in which countries firewatch uh, used and what is the future market um, we are not the Firewatch experts, um, but uh, if you reach out to us directly, we will forward uh, your inquiry to our colleagues at the Firewatch uh, department. Yes, I think that's not the platform here, but uh, yeah, we also can talk about, uh, about Firewatch with our colleagues and we uh, yeah, can talk about it later. Okay, so um, yeah, let's thank you again. Uh, and yeah, we wish you uh, a nice day a nice evening uh, wherever you are uh, hopefully you join this uh, small set event this conference and um, you're enjoying it and yes and hopefully you will contact us and yeah we will make you or provide you a good solution thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day or have a nice conference <laughs>